Well, good morning, everybody. Hope all is well on this fun Friday. <laughs> and it is a gorgeous Friday, too, man. It is, God, it's beautiful. Sun's up. Everything's looking bright and everything's looking good. Um, I kind of wanted to come today and I kind of, the topic of today. Good morning, John Garrison. Hope all is well with Garrison Construction. They do a fantastic job, guys. Um, I came this morning to kind of talk to you guys a little bit about termites. And um, that's kind of the topic this morning. But I do want to kind of give you kind of a brief little market update on what the market's doing. And I have to tell you guys that the market has actually been just hot. I mean, we have been so busy. Um, you know, I think this is our third full week of being back to work. And it has been just crazy busy, which is a good sign, man. People are out doing things. So I expect it as things move forward and... and um, open back up it may we may just you know pick up where we left off with us which is fantastic oh yeah people are out enjoying it this is fantastic good morning leslie Ooh, if you guys need a golf cart man she's it oh, no other place to buy just leslie right there good morning miss april good morning drew but yeah it has been busy um actually our inventory has stayed about the same so that's good it's still hovering right around the 3500 homes on the market active uh county wide and uh, which is a good thing but yeah we have been pretty busy which i'm just blessed for thank you guys for all your referrals man that's fantastic but the topic of the day is termites and truthfully when i was thinking about doing one um i couldn't think of a better place than even something that i own personally and uh, kind of show you uh what termites can do to a building or house or anything um you know if it's not taken care of you know immediately so they're very very serious so i'm not here to scare you guys but i'm just saying you hey if you ain't had a you know if you ain't sprayed for bugs in a little bit or had somebody come out and do a term please do i mean they're like 75 bucks so i mean you can't go wrong and i gotta be honest guys we have got some of the absolute best pest control companies here and uh here on the space coast so take advantage of it so I'm going to come show you guys what we got termite wise and um, kind of fill you in on what they could do to a building. So hang on two seconds. Good morning. How are you? Hi, Jimmy. I'm doing a little video this morning on termites. <laughs> <laughs> it's a jewel. I was wondering what the orange sign said. I yeah. Passed it yesterday. You're more than welcome to come on in. It's a, it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I don't blame you. I wouldn't come in either. <laughs> I'm tough. There you go. Well, guys. This is kind of what termites can do if they're untreated. And I'm going to kind of show you guys what, what termites did to this poor building. You know, this building here was built in the 1920s. And um, some things that I've learned about this building, and I mean, if you look real close, you could see, you know, you could see outside. But in the 1920s, you know, a lot of things were plaster. And so they would actually use the plaster mix, and they'd actually use like horse hair and straw. So... I mean, it, you know, it will just do numbers on it. And what it has done to this structure is really, really something. But you could tell what they used to do back in the day, buddy. They just put the boards right on the ground. And I mean, it's just kind of an expressway for termites, which is really, really something. But I'm going to show you guys what happens with a two-story building. Okay, a two-story building, of course, you've got all of the load up above you. So, of course, everything, when it's down on the ground like this, you know, they just eat right on up. And um, it's just really, really something. And they move so fast and they swarm so fast. But what I'm going to show you guys is, like, look at some of the, um, the beams in here. I mean, they're just, they're just going. And I want to kind of show you guys, you know, down here, it's almost like landscape timbers is how big these beams are. But... Um, what it does is, I mean, you can tell where they're going, going, going. And I want you guys to keep your eye on this lower beam here. And then you kind of, kind of start seeing what the termites have done to this lower beam to this building. Then all of a sudden, guys, I want you all to look real close. That beam is gone. Completely just gone. Which is really, really concerning, you know, when you've got all of that weight above you. Now, to kind of show you how heavy that is, I'm going to take you guys across this beam here. I want you guys to follow this beam. Down, 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 down. Now look at that. 
look what this board has done to this beam with help from the termites it has completely like kind of crushed it in now guys i've never seen that before but this is all good stuff for you guys need to know this good morning louise good morning jamie good morning colleen I hope all is well robert chris and this is the front of the building now guys now this is all this just shows is what can happen to a building um, if you don't keep up with the pest control. I mean, simple pest control. I'm not saying once a month, I'm not saying, but man, once a year probably wouldn't hurt of just having somebody come out and treat the vicinity, you know, just, just the perimeter and keeping up with this because they move very, very fast. And another thing people I hear a lot in this business is people say, well, I live in a concrete block home. And that's all in great, but your fairing strips that your that your drywall mounts to, guys, is actually just like a one and a half inch uh, board. Okay. And guys, that is almost like a super highway for those things to just kind of go straight up. And people they, they go straight up and they they move so fast through those. And next thing you know, they're like in your rafters if you kind of look what's happened back there. So yeah, that. That stuff happens, and um, you know that's where the whole you know fight between you know as you hear stick home versus um, concrete block home, buddy. Termites are hungry, and if there's some wood that they're wanting to get, buddy, they're not they're not going to discriminate. They're just going to go for it, and um, so yeah, I just kind of wanted to come down here and show you guys and use something that I own personally um, what termites can do and what they have done to this poor building. And I mean, I'm gonna show you something else too, and I, the video's not gonna do some of this stuff justice. But like this wall here, guys, that I just showed you, um, when you get down to like where the beams were down there, this poor building now, because of the weight up top that we have, is actually leaning eight inches, and eight, maybe be more now, um, towards US-1. So that's pretty scary and that's a, that's a safety hazard. So if <laughs> the, the thing of this story is, guys, is, is keep up with your pest control um, and don't, you know, don't lose something due to it because it will definitely cost you more in the long run to, um, to try to fix it. But guys, that pretty much is going to wrap up our... Um, our little video today do you guys got any questions or concerns going on in the market please hit me up we have been listing a lot of beautiful homes lately guys and um, and I got to tell you that it seems like anything under 200,000 is just boom gone but then again I say that and, and Ashley Edens she uh, she got something that was 565 boom gone so I mean a lot of neat neat stuff yeah Chris duct tape Buddy, we always laugh because we always say, hey, you know, a little cock and paint to make it what it ain't. So that's kind of what we kind of tease about. But yeah, so that's that's kind of what's happening, guys. That's our market updates. This is the importance of termites and termites inspections. Um, a lot of lenders actually require termite inspection. And um, I think it'd be dumb not to know what's going on and go ahead and have it sprayed while they're there. I mean, heck, what's it going to hurt you? And I mean, once a year, get it done. But you know, if you're if you're tracking on that four to five plus years, I would probably go ahead and do it. Um, I mean, sometimes it's scary to know, but there's a lot of companies that actually do the repairs to it too. So it's not it's not really a big deal, guys. We do it all the time, and um, yeah, just get it done. It's good, and it's good to pass it on to the next to the next buyer. So that's it, guys. Well, we love you guys, and if we could do anything to help you guys. Um, you know, we're here for you. So, uh, y'all stay safe and, uh, we'll see you guys around. Love y'all. Have a good day.